Five scary things caught on camera in the woods. Something in the forest. Scary things have been happening around the Umatilla Indian Reservation in Mission, Oregon. Locals have been hearing strange sounds in the middle of the night that seem to originate from the swamp in the nearby woods. One night around 11 p.m., a man heard bizarre noises and went outside his home to try to capture some of the creepy sounds on his phone. January 21st, about 11 p.m., uh, I'm a couple hundred feet from my house. You can you hear it going off in the background right now? Kind of sounds weird. Uh, kind of sounds doggish, hyena-ish, but you can hear it going off in the background right now. It's really kind of strange, just to say the least. Uh, it's been going off for about 15, 20 minutes so far um, by the fire station. And uh, it's pretty crazy, so if you can listen, that'd be crazy. Hold on. Sounds like laughter. It's actually gotten closer since it started. It's probably only 200 feet, 300 feet from me right now. shooting a 22 or something into the swamp. It's pretty much stopped in the last minute. But I'm just going to stay and stick it around, seeing if I see anything weird. Uh, you guys be the judge. Some local residents believe that the strange noises coming from the swamp late at night are possibly either a coyote, a fox, or a cougar. However, residents who have lived in the area for years say that they've never heard sounds like these. I mean, I've seen foxes and coyotes around here for a long time, and I'm not sure why, if foxes and coyotes have been around here that long, why we wouldn't have heard them before. And all of a sudden, since November, things have been just going crazy around our community. Some locals have even claimed that the area is home to a Sasquatch, and that this creature is the source of these wails and screeches. My friend who's doing a documentary on Bigfoot will enjoy this footage. So is it Bigfoot or simply an ordinary animal calling into the night? Let me know what you think down in the comments. A drive in the woods. Sometimes you don't even need to venture into the forest on foot for scary things to happen. This couple in Russia are simply driving down a street through a wooded area late at night. They certainly aren't prepared for what happens. A random tree suddenly crashes to the ground right in front of them, and they're forced to drive right through it. 
Luckily, there was no serious damage and no one was injured. But the driver seems to have almost had a heart attack when the tree came crashing down. Decorations A man hiking through the woods in Suffolk County, New York happens upon a truly bizarre setting. A bit freaked out, he pulls out his phone and begins filming. He also pulls out a large hunting knife to protect himself, just in case. Okay, um, we're deep, deep, deep in the woods. Sort of, we're like on the border, cause like there's a side of the woods where there's people's houses. But I came to a trail that led to a trail that led to a trail up the hill and I came down this and as you can see, probably can see, it's f***ing blocked. There's trees knocked over blocking it and cut down so that it's hard to get down the hill. But I saw what looked like a fire pit. And remember, we're still in the woods. We're still in the woods, right? I don't know what this is. Do you see the f***ing trees? Little white, okay. I was like, okay, these are probably no trespassing signs, or maybe it's something for the, for the wildlife or something. Look what these are. What the is going on in here? Missing person posters are taped all over the surrounding trees. Look at that. And a blanket and empty food containers are spread on the ground. There's a strange structure of sticks and branches, and there's a shovel propped against a nearby seating area. The hiker hears voices approaching and makes a hasty exit. This one. Stacy Peterson, 23 years old, missing from Illinois, 2007. Oh, shit, I heard voices. We have to get the out of here. Using info from his hiking tracker, he reported the location to local police. What happened next either perfectly clears everything up or makes it all even more mysterious, according to your point of view. The police questioned a nearby property owner and were told that the whole macabre setup was simply decoration for an upcoming Halloween party. An explanation that the law enforcement officers accepted without further investigation. However, the original poster of the video wasn't convinced. After all, the video was recorded on October 3rd, well before the usual time for any Halloween party. And even so, the missing posters looked like they had been hanging there for a long time, and certainly not put up recently. And it's obviously these, you can tell, these aren't new. Like, not just that this is 2012, Noblesville, Indiana, right? Look at the tape, look at the water damage. These bits have been hanging up for a, a while. And look at this, like, just look at this. Who the f is gonna decorate this? What the f This guy's a grown-up. Either way, as the poster pointed out, it's still a bit perverse to use real missing posters of people's loved ones as Halloween decorations. Cabin in the Woods an abandoned cabin in the woods is the quintessential ingredient for thousands of horror films, short stories, and just all around scary things. So why would anyone decide to not only go to investigate a scary cabin in the woods, but also set up their camp right outside its front door? Well, this adventure-seeking group of French Canadians did just that. And the results were pretty much what you would expect. Ça fut, euh, c'est une super de belle soirée. Qu'est-ce que vous en pensez, les amis? Moi, je pense que le feu, il est réussi en Esti. Qu'est-ce que t'en penses? Il est réussi en tabarouette. Bon, un Esti de beau feu. Hey, t'avais-tu entendu ça? Quoi? Check, check. Hein? Frank, pogne la flashlight! Vite, pogne la flashlight! Fuck, c'était quoi? Hey, 
Show's left. Show's left. Oh, shit. You. The group spots some bizarre thing peeking out of the cabin door at them. When they go to investigate, it's gone. But then they spot the thing again, now outside the cabin. They pursue, but again it disappears. So is this just a hoax by a bunch of board camping Canucks? Or is it something supernatural? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Scarier than nature. Scary things in the woods don't always have to involve animals or dangerous creatures. Sometimes there are far more frightening things lurking on a woodland path. Three boys who were dirt biking deep in the woods ran into something they never expected. An apparently intoxicated man comes lurching out of the woods, screaming, a gun in one hand and a beer in the other. He blocks their path, demanding that they stop, and then asks if they've seen a silver Subaru. Silver Subaru, uh, Baja. Have you seen it up there? No. no. Sure. Yeah, I'm positive. He claims he's been robbed. Just rob me. I haven't seen him. But for obvious reasons, the boys don't stick around to hear the full story. Dude, that's not funny. What? That wasn't funny. Hey, I got it on film. The video poster said they reported the encounter to the local sheriff's office. They were told by the law enforcement officers that it was, quote, no big deal. No further investigation was conducted. <laughs> <laughs>